Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm sharing a Dollar Tree DIY and it's a farmhouse centerpiece which I'm creating using Dollar Tree items and some additional tools. So I'll be using this white paint, paintbrush, some other things, also this wood filler which is optional and I'm using this ruler to apply that and then I'm using these Dollar Tree signs that I purchased. They have like a fabric cloth material over it and then I'm using these two football games so I'm just starting out by taking that out and I'm just going to use the wood piece here and setting those frames aside I'm just going to start out by filling in the little holes on the games with the, this wood filler and this I just happened to find this laying around so I figured I'd use it you can either leave the holes there because they'll be on the inside um, you really won't be able to see them once the centerpiece is created or you can actually just fill it in with glue so I just decided to use this again this is completely optional so I'm just going to set that aside to let it dry while I work on the rest of it I'm going to take these frames apart I'm taking off this cloth fabric stuff and then I'm just going to be left with the frame. It's kind of like plywood but it comes off very easily. I'm just using these little scissors to pull the staples up and then I'm just going to pull those out and it comes out very easily. And then we're left with these frames here. So just using those three I'm going to scrape off that dried wood filler and just make that smooth. And I'm going to paint the items white. So I'm starting out painting the inside of these frames because it'll be harder to paint later. So I'm just going to do that for all three pieces. And then I'm going to paint over that wood filler as well. I'm going to go ahead and start assembling the centerpiece. So I'm putting those games right into the middle of the frame here as you see and then just centering it how I want it and then I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on this first one is very easy to put together it gets a little harder as um, on this piece here so I'm just positioning it where I want it to be and then I'm going to mark it with a little pencil just so I can see where I want everything to lay So I just applied the glue there. That part is not too bad. Slid that down and then make sure it lines up with the line that I drew with the pencil. And then just hold it firm and let the glue dry. And then I'm flipping it over and this is where it gets a little tough. So I'm just trying to see where I can squeeze the glue in. So I'm starting here or at the bottom, I'm just going to put one line of glue at the bottom and then line that up where I want it to be and then add a little bit of glue to the top part as well. And hold that firm and let it dry. 
and the top part it wasn't too bad um, I just want to point out that I'm keeping all the the area where the staples were on the frame is facing down on all these pieces so I'm just adding the glue here to the back of this game piece and I'm quickly doing that on both sides so I can just slide that frame right over that and quickly holding it tight so it can dry and then on this side there was a little gap left behind so I'm just filling that in with some of the glue and then holding it together and then any excess glue that kind of comes out once it dried I just pulled that right off and this is what it looks like when it's all done just want to make sure that the spaces between each frame are even and now I'm just going to go ahead and finish painting that with the white paint it's chalk paint from um, made by Waverly And this is pretty much all that I'm going to do. Um, I was going to possibly make a bottom piece to this, but I decided not to do that. I was going to just use the fabric piece that I cut off and make a frame. So I'm just showing in the upper left corner how I was going to do that, but I decided to just leave it as is. And then I got these three jars also from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to put those right into the little frame, and that's... Um, what's going to hold my flowers and I'm just using these purple flowers that I found and this ends up being part of my color scheme for the spring it goes along with a DIY floral that I just put together So this is how it's looking. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.